Namaste. My name is Pandi Singh, and today we are deeply honoured that the India's eminent scientist, Dr. K. Thangraj, is present here with us. Sir, I extend my heartfelt gratitude that you have found time to join us and share your invaluable experience. Uh, sir, throughout your illustrious and insightful, inspiring work history at CCMD and the mind behind the CDFP, you have also received multiple respectable awards. So, could you please share what has been the deriving force behind your dedication? <clears throat> Thank you very much. First of all, I must thank for inviting me here. Uh, it's my pleasure visiting the institute. Uh, regarding your question, um, I came from a very happy family, uh, born and brought up in the village. And right from my uh, college days, uh, I used to work hard because hard working is the one of the best thing one can uh, be able to achieve many things in the future. Uh, so I've been practicing that even today because yes. I spend a lot of time in the lab uh, till maybe one o'clock or two o'clock in the night uh, until very recently until the COVID time. Um, interacting with the students and writing paper. That's how we could get to manage, publish mm -hmm. close to 300 papers. Mm -hmm. right? uh, so I work on different fields. Again, a fingerprinting part of it, but I, I work uh, on various fields, including understanding human population history. That's one of my major research interests. In addition to that, I work on cardiovascular diseases, mitochondrial disorders. In fact, uh, I started a society on uh, Society for Mitochondrial Research and Medicine exclusively to make people to understand as a public uh, about mitochondrial disorders uh, and connect clinicians, researchers and the patients. That's very, very important. Uh, we have been organizing uh, annual conference every year. Uh, so, uh, hard work yes. and patient to science is very really important. Yes, very inspiring, sir. Uh, sir, could you please enlighten our aspiring experts about the fundamental role of DNA in the justice system? Uh, until the DNA fingerprinting was uh, invented, uh, there was no actually connection between uh, judicial system yes. and uh, DNA. And unfortunately, uh, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Alec Jeffrey has accidentally found mm -hmm. that and, and, uh, how it can be used for various applications. And in India, technology is uh, at the time he has developed his own probe, which was uh, used. Uh, so, DNA is the genetic material which has been passed from generation after the generation. Uh, it's very, very important to understand the genetics. Yes. Uh, so not only for the helping in judicial system, it's also very important for various things including the disease, uh, disease causing, not only the inherited disease, even the infectious disease um, as a genetic basis. When we are exposed to pathogen, not everybody gets the disease. Mm -hmm. Some are resistant. All because of the mutation which you have in the gene which is responsible for the infection or uh, resistance. Uh, similarly, the pharmacogenomics. Uh, when we take the drug, uh, uh, the drugs are metabolized uh, differently to different people. Different people represent people who have different kind of mutation. Uh, so in that sense, DNA is very important. DNA fingerprinting, particularly, if you ask, that's extremely useful for judicial system, uh, which have been very, very effectively being used uh, in terms of judicial or forensic system. And I'm glad that uh, there are several universities have been uh, recently been um, initiated. Uh, I'm also happy about with the State uh, Institute of Forensic Science. It is dedicated for uh, forensic uh, DNA in the building of the fund. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so, one last question. 
as you have visited our institute for the very first time, could you please give some suggestion for the improvement and improvement? So, so there is always scope for improving. Yes. Uh, even the best, of the best mm -hmm. institute or lab, so has some scope to uh, improve. Uh, uh, when we talk about UP uh, State uh, Institute of Forensic Science, it's a very new institute, just a couple of years old, and I'm very much impressed with the, the vision uh, the director has vision of the uh, state government for having an institute exclusively for policy science. Uh, I'm sure that uh, this institute is going to play a major role in terms of uh, policy application, in terms of academic, in terms of research. Uh, so I wish all the best to the institute and uh, all of you Thank all you. the best. Thank you so much sir for gracing us with your wisdom and insights and your experience in academia and research are very invaluable. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.